look, look. Okay. Oh my gosh. Cool. I'm so excited. Yeah. I've been waiting for this moment. Uh, we are going to meet Toodles the Mini Cow. Toodles the Mini Cow. It, other than John Gum, I think this is our first celebrity that we've had on our show. I, th I think that might be fair to say. Let, let's. Let's Toodles let's bring Toodles in. Toodles is a celebrity around Northern Kentucky from Union. And of course, we have his handler, or her. It's a girl, right? We have her handlers. Uh, we have Alyssa and Kaylee. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Tell us where Toodles is from, where you guys are from. We are from Union, Kentucky. She is also from Union, Kentucky as well. She is three months old. She's just a baby. So she's a baby mini cow. Yes. And she is just adorable. So we saw you guys on Facebook. That's how we found out about you. Yeah. And you take her around and you do kind of therapy with her almost. Yeah. Like cows or what do you call it? Cuddles with cows or? Uh, cuddle a calf. Yeah. Cuddle a calf. I love it so much. So there are different places where people can meet yeah. Toodles and some of your other mini cows as well. Mm -hmm. um, talk about why you like to take Toodles around and the kind of places that you take Toodles. So we love it. We take her to mainly local tractor supplies, and it's a great time for everyone to come around, get personal one-on-one -on -one time with a cow. Not everyone has that farm experience, so it's a great time for them to come out and have that opportunity. It's, it's great for them, cow therapy. Yeah. So have you... I'm not working at all. I'm literally just petting the cow. That's all I'm doing. Well, that's the point of this, right? I brought my son over the weekend because you guys happen to be on the west side. And, I mean, people just kind of melt when they get in the, the, the pen with Toodles and your other cows. Is that kind of the goal to give people just a few moments of zen? You know, I mean, we're such a busy world right now. And like you said, you may be in areas where people have never had the opportunity to, to actually see a cow, let alone a mini cow. What is it like when, when you see people meet a cow for the first time. It is awesome. I love seeing the joy it brings to their face. They melt with kindness and loving. It's awesome. Now, can you guys tell us a little bit more about Toodles? Like, what's, what breed is she? That type of thing? Yeah. She's a Highland cow. She, well, she's three months old. She loves to run around. She gets the zoomies at home. She gets super excited when she we go gets out to the she zoomies. Like, oh, yes. She likes my hair, too. She does. She's teething, so she loves to eat and like everything <laughs> she can. <laughs> Jen, I'm going to swipe that. So I'll, okay. I'll work and you play and you play now. So when we say mini cow, baby mini cow, when, when Toodles isn't a, a baby anymore, she'll still be mini? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. She will get a little bit taller and she'll fill out, mm -hmm. but she will still be very short and, and very cuddly. Fly. She's wearing a she... local 12 bandana. <laughs> <laughs> she consumes my did hair. You, did you say she'll, she'll end up with horns as yes. well? Yep. She has little baby horns growing right now. You can fill Aww. the little nubs. You can fit it. Oh, you, you can, you fit, you fit a nubs. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm freaking out. I'm a grown man. What, what, do, what do little kids, especially city kids do when, when, they, when they see Toodles? They get so excited. They have the biggest smile on their face and it really just makes our day. Like we've had children with disabilities come in and they, like they're surprised by their parents and they have the biggest smile and it's just amazing. It's truly incredible. You know, for both of you who, who are around, I would assume, animals a lot more regularly than, yes. than, than most of us, are you ever surprised by goofballs like us who are like, it's the best? Honestly, no, because I'm the same way every time I wake up and see her. Aww. It is the same. Oh, that is the sweetest thing I've heard. That is, that is, that is so, so great. That is so sweet. So do you keep um, some sort of calendar somewhere where folks could keep up with where you're going to be next and all yeah. that kind of thing? So right now it's on our Facebook page, Boots and Mini Moose. We're updating it currently, so there will be a calendar on there as well. Okay. But we keep it weekly posted. Any other animals make the rounds with you guys? We have little ponies that may or may not be shown in the future. And they um, are unicorns. <laughs> they are I unicorns. Think, I think we have a picture. Uh, I don't know if it's up now because I can't see, but we do have a picture of one of the, the, the mini ponies that I took off your Facebook page where it's dressed as a unicorn. Do you guys do anything like, t um, I've seen you go to local schools and you were at a fire department. Yeah. Do you do that kind of thing with first responders? Does that help them almost like therapy dogs kind of? We will be in the future, yes. We will be. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also know that you mentioned to me when I saw you over the weekend that you're going to be having um, an event coming up for Mother's Day as yes. well. Mother's Day at Point Tractor Supply. We will have some openings then as well for Cuddle a Calf. Okay. Do people have to sign up? Like, will you ever get so many people that it's like too many? Do you have to sign up for slots? Yes, it gets very crowded. Um, we do have sign-up slots on our Facebook page. So 
you guys want to go check that out? Yeah, it might and not be a bad idea to register. Even when it's booked up, still reach out. We can try and squeeze you guys in. That's what I did over the weekend. I happened I follow them. And again, it's Boots oh. and, and Mini Moves. Yes. And you guys are from Union, Kentucky. But you go all around because I saw happened to see that they were going to be at the tractor supply on the west side. Yep. I messaged them. They're like, yeah, we'll get you in at whatever time. I just, could, did you feel the nubs? I did feel the nubs. I don't know. I know why I know. am I so fascinated by the nubs? Oh, so cute. It is, <laughs> it is just the cutest. We, we saw a Cincinnati Reds bandana as well. How, how often do you guys sort of change up the bandana depending yes. on where you are? Yes, we do. Every, every cuddle of calf. Every, every cuddle of calf, they find the special thing. So I think probably Jen is just going to stay out here the rest of the show. I don't know if we're ever going to get her back inside. But ladies, thank you so much. I know it's a rainy morning getting in. We really appreciate you coming out. Thank you so much. Jen, are you, you, want, you, want, you want to have some time? I love it so much. Okay. We have, we have things to talk about. We do. Okay. But can we just take a second and just talk about what just happened? We had a mini cow here at the station. I, my heart is light. See? Do you know what I mean? My soul is invigorated. And that's exactly why oh. I thought it would be a good thing. And Kim Bryant here is the one that found these oh. folks from Boots and Mini Moves to bring so Toodles in. good. And I got to meet him over Did the Did you feel the same way when, yes. you, when you took your son out there the other day? Just well, to like, see him. We, I've got pictures of my son just snuggling on the cow, and it just makes you feel good. Oh, my gosh. Just, yeah. Now, I will say, toward the end of our time out there with Toodles, <laughs> um, Toodles, I don't know if exploratory is the right word. Um, <laughs> Because <laughs> I mean, a French kiss the cow accidentally. <laughs> Let's just put it out there. Yeah. Well, Toodles is um, well, it's teething right now. So Toodles is looking for things to chew on and like my hair. Toodles really like my hair. So, yeah. It's okay. You know what? It's all part it's of the right. experience. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Tre treasure that. No, no, okay. No, no. Maybe maybe blog about it later. I don't know. No. Write a poem. Something. Oh, there you go. Some. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.